Hey guys, it's Fleckus. This week we're at the March for Our Lives, downtown LA. What's your sign say? It says the NRA is a terrorist organization. Very cool. And do you think ISIS is a terrorist organization? I, I do, yeah. You think Al-Qaeda? I do. Hamas? Yeah. Okay, so they're all in the same category to you? Yeah, pretty much. Brian, hello. Brian wants me to sign his MAGA hat. This is my first signature, guys, my first autograph. I'm Austin. Oh, cool. What's your name? Uh, well, I go by Doppel Bowie. Basically, everyone here, it could all be boiled down to they don't want guns. Would you be down for guns are illegal? Yes. We don't need guns. Do you lean more towards the all guns? Uh, I'm on the all guns thing. If you look at a weapon of war, if you could have an AR-15, why couldn't you have a nuclear weapon? I mean, it makes sense that you should not have a, a really potent weapon. Do you think handguns should be legal or illegal? Yeah, sure. Um, they they could they could be legal. It's you know legal or illegal. Legal, as long as you're not you know capable of killing dozens of people within a minute. You know. But more, the majority of mass shootings do use handguns, though. That's, that's a bummer. A wise man made a good point to me today. He said, "We used to march for our rights, and now we have people who are marching to take their own rights away and to take rights away from everyone." It's very odd. I don't think they know the difference between a semi-automatic and an automatic. They did. They know that automatic guns have been banned for a long time, and semi-automatic. That's pretty much every gun now. So if you want a ban on semi, semi-automatic guns, you're banning all guns, basically. You do not need an automatic rifle to be killing game. Well, automatic rifles are illegal. Semi-automatic rifles, excuse me. Okay, yeah, semi-automatic, obviously there is a difference. One trigger pull, one bullet. But the, I, I think when it comes to Second Amendment, it's more about self-preservation and self-defense, right? No. I live in this country 30 years, and I never, never use a gun, and I don't, I don't feel... It's okay you see gun for nobody. What about the Constitution, though, and, like, the rights? The Constitution is okay. You, you, uh, the Constitution is like, a, like, like, like the Bible. You believe, you believe. And you believe in the Constitution, you can kill people. It's okay, you can kill. It's okay to kill each other when you're trying to fight for your country or your land, or you know. But when it comes to me shooting you, then it's a crime. The, the truth is... This is all based on culture. And these people, they actually believe that gun control can work, but all empirical evidence shows otherwise. Um, the Washington Post actually came out with a fact check on uh, Marco Rubio, and they found that no recent gun law would have stopped any mass shooting. You don't need an assault rifle. You don't need, a civilian doesn't need an assault I have face tattoos. Like, I don't need to be owning a gun. I'm irresponsible already. I feel like I'm in a zombie sci-fi horror movie where people are programmed robots, like the tech companies and the media just wound them up, and then they march and shake their hands and do whatever the TV tells them. What's going on here? What did you see? No guns. Fuck it, Trump. And need in peace. Okay. My sign is reversible. Uh, just like the, the Russian styled R that the NRA is indeed BS and is funneling Russian money to uh, have gotten Trump elected. So we got to get this guy out of office. All right. There's a new theory. The NRA is, uh, has been touching base with the uh, Russian gun pro-gun movements, at least that's what I've heard. Alberto, one of the assistants. Alberto, what is the message in this matter? CNN is very false. What if a criminal came into your house with a gun? You'd be at a disadvantage. Indeed, but that's just, I guess, the bad luck of my, my life, circumstance or whatever. It had to happen. I don't know. Run, shelter, and well, hide, shelter. And the last one would be if you come, if I run, say someone's breaking into my house, I would go into the deepest, darkest room in the house and hide. Then they come any closer and I have a gun, I shoot them. Do you not agree with that plan? I don't agree with that. I would never shoot anybody. Even if they're breaking into your house and have a gun themselves? No, I would not shoot them. Well, I guess we're different there. I think a lot of Republicans think it's all about banning guns and completely disregarding the Second Amendment or repealing the Second Amendment, and it's not about that. It's not a question of abolishing the Second Amendment or taking people's guns away. You know, because the, the point is not to ban guns. It's not about taking guns away from people. No one's trying to do that. I'm Australian. I am from Australia. <laughs> Wait, what does it say? I can't read it. I'm from Australia to say gun laws work. I know that in Australia... Uh, Australia is an obvious one. Australia did it and was very effective. I, I hate how they bring up Australia because Australia, because the government basically forced people to bring up their guns. And according to um, gunfacts.info, homicide and firearm crimes actually increased after the firearm ban. You said uh, don't take guns away. Australia basically had a mandatory buyback. Well, they had a, a, a mandatory buyback. Can, 
combined with a fantastically popular voluntary uh, give back. No more mass shootings. Not one since. But is it fair to say that there were not that many mass shootings before that? And there was one when one is enough, right? Yeah. One, one is enough. So it's really interesting to me is I spoke to an LAPD officer and they told me that most gun crimes in Los Angeles are actually done with illegal guns and nobody here cares about that. There's millions of illegal guns. Most crimes are done with illegal guns. No legislation is going to stop any illegal gun, but nobody here cares. Absolutely. And they tried to fix that. They made a thing called Project Exile, which is basically giving uh, harsh, strict penalties for people that illegally possess a gun. But the Democrats didn't like it because they said it was, you know, significantly targeting minority communities. I, all this talk about gun restrictions and gun reform, they always call it common sense gun reform, which uh, to me doesn't seem too commonsensical. And I think that the overall thing that people are trying to say is basically, you know, common sense gun laws where, you know, somebody who should not be able to, you know, have a fully auto assault weapon. I think that's pretty even with the bus Well, stop. fully auto is, no, like, uh, civilians aren't getting fully auto weapons. In the Parkland shooting, the most recent case, uh, do you think the failure was in our gun laws or the enforcement of our gun laws? Because the police had 39 times they were alerted that this kid had some issues. The FBI was given a month before, hey, this kid's going to be a school shooter. He said so. He has his guns. He's posting on social media. So I think in this case, if we had actually enforced forced our gun laws, we would have maybe prevented this rather than trying to not have a gun in this kid's hand. 98% of mass shootings happen in gun-free zones. The gun-free zones doesn't work. The gun regulation doesn't work. Chicago has the most amount of crime, uh, gun violence, with the most amount of gun regulation. What organization are you with? I'm, sorry. I'm with Fleckus Talks. With what? Fleckus Talks. What is that? Tell it's a YouTube. Know. It's a YouTube. Dr. Unicorn! Dr. Unicorn is here. He's back. And everyone's sign is like, you know, stop this now, not one more. And it's like, yeah, everyone agrees. And when it comes to actual solutions, like I'll say, oh, should we put an armed security person at schools? And they're like, what is this, like a prison? I think having armed security in schools is a good idea? F no. No? No. I think having an armed presence in high schools is absolutely idiotic. I don't think fear is a good place to learn. I personally would never want to go to a school where I had to worry about, you know, my teacher's gun going off by accident. And the idea of teachers having guns, it's like, do you think an 18-year-old could disarm me? I mean, I'm in pretty good shape for a 60-some-year-old. You are, you are. But do you think there's anyone in the schools that you work with who would be more capable with a gun? Um, I think that that is a priority. It's just not a priority that should be there. I should be concentrating on teaching. I should be concentrating on... It's not an armed camp. Do you think an on-site security with, an, uh, with a gun, concealed carry, is not a bad no, thing? I think our schools aren't prisons, so let's not... Let's stop treating them like that. Our banks aren't prisons. Our airports aren't prisons, and we have security there. Cool. Yeah. Those aren't schools now, are they? Schools should be a safe zone. Yeah, so shouldn't we protect our schools if they want to be a safe we zone? There's kids should. there. We absolutely should protect our schools through good policy, not through arming people with guns in the school. But gun people who break the laws and have guns and want to do harm to people don't follow gun laws. If it says, hey, no guns in the school, they're not going to be like, ah, crap. The armed security officer on site took him out in like 30 seconds. He was the only death. And took him out, yeah. Like that's what happened. That's, I, that's, what, that's like how it should go, I think. It's just the conversation and the language on a human life is just very interesting. Like, it's just so fickle. It's just numbers. And and it's not. Like, we just need to talk about how we can change it. And maybe that... To talk about changing the entire culture, it's like I'm talking about how to protect these kids on Monday. It's like if you want to talk about the gun culture in the U.S., like that's a big conversation. That's a whole different debate. Yeah, and to change people's... And yeah, I want to actually solve the problem, not say, oh, people should be better, people shouldn't care about guns. When it, when it comes down to it, it's hit or miss. Uh, I don't think it actually makes us safer to have armed security officers. If you're saying that you know, people should have I less guns and then the cops have the guns only and then the cops aren't running into the school, yeah. it's like, where I do I... I think we should have cops in schools. And, you know, whether or not they ran into the school, I don't know. I'm not a policeman. What are you finding when you talk to these people? What's, like, what's, the, what's the common thread? The common thread is they actually don't want dialogue. The solution is the public doesn't need machine guns, automatic weapons. That's, yeah, that's illegal already. Huh? Uh, machine guns are illegal already. Assault weapons, do you, you know? Assault weapons are in semi-automatic. All right, I'm going to be going in March and I see where we're going. Yeah, he's out. It's been great. Oh, he's okay. Been good one, man. He's out. You want to talk. He's out. You in general with the outfit, what's, what's up with the outfit? I'm not talking. My favorite sign of the day. Yeah, so... Uh, less hog, more uh, cash of, basically. Totally agree with that. What does that mean? Uh, basically, uh, they're, they're uh, Kyle Kashov and David Hogg are two of the students uh, from Summon Douglas High School. And I think that Kyle Kashov is being very productive in uh, the fight for gun reform. And I don't think David Hogg is really, uh, I don't think he's trying to reach across the aisle and actually make something happen. I think he's 
saying a lot of divisive things. Uh, there's a there's a right and wrong way to go about the, the cause, I guess. You're out here for a reason. I want to hear why you're out here. It's and the Donald Trump, Trump is worse than Hitler, girl. Donald Trump is worse than Hitler. All right, another Fuckus Talks in the books. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, share, subscribe, all the good stuff. There's a new one coming soon. Fuckus Talks. Dope. One and done, baby. What, what, do we got, what do we got going on here today? Introduce yourself for everyone who doesn't know. Will Witt from Prager University. Yeah, they got they got a way better mic over at Prager U. Yeah, we've been... Uh, I, uh, I had to use a rubber glove to attach the microphone today because I ran out of uh, hockey tape. We're stocking up on some good footage.